Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about your insect antenna and their modification. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what are the different parts of an antenna, insect antenna, then how they are modified in different different insect. Those things we are now going to discuss. You see, in case of insect, if you go through IMS classification, then there are 29 orders. In that, out of that, 28 orders, they are bearing one pair of antenna. One pair means two number of antenna are there. But one exception is there that is your Protura order where they do not possess any kind of antenna. except order protura it arises from the second segment of the head we already have discussed in the different parts of head they are articulated with the head in front of the compound eyes no need to tell compound eyes will be there here so antenna is arising okay antenna consists of a number of segments but mainly divided into three parts what are those first one is your you can see that is your scape second one is your pedicelle and third one is your flagellum these three parts will be there that is your scape pedicelle then flagellum pedicelle is the smallest segment and flagellum is the generally longest segment one more thing is there what is that you see the scape inserted into a membranous region of the head wall and pivoted on a single marginal point that is known as antennifer this point you can uh, think of uh, like a uh, joystick so that it can be rotated easily yes or no that portion here if you think that is your antenna for that's why it is free to move in all directions okay second segment is your pedicel the shortest one the remainder or the remaining series of similar segment together constitute your flagellum that is your third segment and here the head capsule will be there okay understood if any doubt is there you can ask anytime in the comment box now coming to the pedicel in most of the insect what happens they contains a special sensory organ what is that organ that is your johnston's organ generally comes in the exam okay generally this one comes in the exam okay johnston's organ present in which segment or which one is the sensory organ present in the antenna or in the pedicel so you have to write down johnston's organ okay this johnston's organ you have to write down okay but you see there is an exception what is that in case of springtail springtail means which order that is your columbola and order diplura what happens they don't have johnston's organ in their pedicel they have the pedicel but without johnston's organ so you have to remember this one in order protura antenna are absent in order columbola and diplura though antenna is present though pedicel is present but johnston's organ is absent then present in case of male mosquito this pedicel for processing of sound okay that means in their pedicel okay this hearing or auditory organ okay and also act, uh, act as a regulator of flight speed also okay you can see this is the pedicel of the male mosquito they have the plumose hairs huh? you see such kind of normal uh, system will be there which help in your hearing okay that is your johnston's organ in this pedicel johnston's organ will be there that's why antenna are otherwise known as what your filler organ this is also important which component of the head known as filler organ means that is your antenna now coming to according to Eames taxonomist okay they have divided this antenna into two types that is your annulated antenna and segmented antenna so what i have told you in the beginning they have how many segments scape is there pedicel is there then your flagellum is there you see scape is there pedicel is there flagellum is there here also scape is there pedicel is there flagellum is there what is the difference between these two you see in generally antenna is movable by two muscles what are those one is levator another one is depressor one is levator another one is depressor in case of annulated antenna what happens they are inserted into the scape okay then somewhat they will be inserted into the pedicel 
but they are absent in the flagellum they are not present in the flagellum okay that's why what happens here the flagellar units are not regarded as your true segments they are not regarded as true segments why because they do not possessing the muscles neither levator nor depressor muscles that's why they are not regarded as what your true segments but in those insect what happens in those antenna johnston's organ is present where in the pedicel all the pterygota orders 25 orders and your thigh sonora pterygota order all are having such kind of annulated antenna so this is the general thing what is segmented antenna this is the exceptional, exceptional case here what will happen this muscles will be there in the scape again in the pedicel again in the flagellum also so here the flagellar units can be regarded as your what true segments okay true segments again what happens but in addition there is an intrinsic muscle in huge unit of your flagellum okay you see here you see these are the intrinsic muscles will be there in the each flagellar unit okay that's why it is regarded as what your true segment okay antenna grow in size by division of the terminal flagellar segment okay johnston's organs are absent here again the example is your columbola and diplora as we have discussed in the last slide okay so segmented antenna present in columbola and diplora protura they do not have wings in columbola and diplora in their and diplora in their pedicel johnston's organ is absent and that is segmented antenna why it is called segmented antenna because here they are possessing the true flagellar unit which having levator muscle depressor muscle in addition to that intrinsic muscle also okay that is the difference in between annulated and segmented antenna so which one is the common one annulated antenna is the common one in insects now coming to your function of antenna they are mainly serving as what your sense organ responding to touch tactile smell okay that is your odor okay olfactory receptor yes or no then humidity temperature as well as air currents or wind speed also they can sensitize johnston's organ on the pedicel function as an auditory organ where in case of male mosquito okay it also helpful for measuring the speed of the air currents then it also helpful in humidity detecting in case of trivalium castaneum that is your red flower beetle okay help the mandibles for holding the prey and for mastication of the food uh, material in case of plantar mates okay plantar mates help in sexual dimorphism what is sexual dimorphism by morphological habit how to distinguish between two sexes male and female you see in case of male mosquito what happens they have plumes antenna you see long long hairs are there in the antenna but in case of pilos you see in case of female they have sparse hair that is your pilos antenna these are the male having dense hair these are the female having very light hairs sparse hair yes or no that's why it is having sexual dimorphism characters it is useful for clasping the female during copulation in case of columbola and male flyers aid in respiration by forming an air funnel in case of aquatic insect antenna will be above water okay which will be the funnel through which what will happen insect will be respiring the oxygen classification is also based on this as we have discussed annulated and segmented and all okay now coming to your types of antenna <laughs> you see different type of antenna are there like cetaceous okay filiform molliform like this so many one by one we'll discuss you see first one is cetaceous these are basically a whip like or a bristle like here you can see this is a whip like or bristle like yes or no you see here what happens the segments will gradually decrease 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 and just like a bristle okay from the base to apex what will happen the size will decrease presenting a whip or bristle like structure it is present in which insect present in cockroaches then your crickets dragonfly leaf hopper okay cetaceous antenna is present which is also known as whip or bristle like okay here you can see this is the cetaceous antenna you see gradually their size is decreasing okay then next one is your filiform which is somewhat uh, more or less thread like here you can see thread like yes or no you see what you need to remember here a type of antenna 
that look like swart like suppose cetaceous is the type of antenna they look like whipper bristle like and what are the example that much you need to remember okay so you can see in case of this filiform antenna this is more or less like thread like here you can see these are like threads okay you see segments are more or less uniform you see totally uniform not like uh, your cetaceous where that is decreasing here it is totally uniform throughout yes or no uniform throughout okay from the best of x and usually cylindrical in shape here you can see usually they are cylindrical in shape yes or no huh? or thread like that so it is written as thread like okay example is antenna of grasshopper then ground beetle tiger beetle okay these are the examples so if you see it uh, clearly you can see here okay this one is the zoom version huh? you see thread like antenna yes or no huh? filiform okay grasshopper filiform that is your thread like next one is you see monthly form uh, this is very very important which comes in the exam like string of beads okay string of beads huh? very ornamental like it can look like uh, just like a ornaments segments are round or oval you can see round or oval okay with well developed construction between these segments okay well developed construction will be there here you can see okay well developed constructions are there yes or no appearing like a string of beads yes or no just a very ornamental look okay whole antenna is beaded and all segments are uniform in thickness okay this is present in case of termites very very important generally come in the exam termite having which kind of antenna or monthly form is, is uh, there in which insect anything may come in the exam okay very very important so now here you can see zoom version okay this is the monthly form type of antenna next one you see pectinate bipectinate and serrate pectinate means what comb like this is like a comb yes or no just we are using at our home yes or no comb like a huh? one side lateral outgrowths are there here you see what is happening segments possess lateral processes like this lateral processes will be there like this lateral processes will be there on one side giving a comb like appearance you see that is giving a comb like appearance yes or no that is giving a comb like appearance okay this is what pectinate or comb like okay present in case of moths male pulse beetle okay that is your pectinate type next one is bipectinate bipectinate means a double comb that means this side also will be there that means that will be your double bipectinate yes or no this is the structure of double comb segment bear lateral processes on either side giving a double comb like appearance example is your silk one here you can see huh? that is a double comb yes or no huh? double comb is there okay example is silk one and some different moths okay then uh, next one is your serrate that is your saw like here you can see that is looking like a saw yes or no huh? that is looking like a saw segments of flagellum are triangular you can see everywhere triangles are there yes or no huh? these are more like the triangle you see in this picture you see clearly visible yes or no huh? and uh, projecting a points on one side yes or no one side that is projecting the points giving a saw like appearance example is your what click beetles here you can see clearly okay this is your pectinate this is your bipectinate and this is your serrate yes or no huh? so like okay pectinate means comb like then your uh, bipectinate means double comb like and the serrate means your so like you have to remember these things okay next one is capitate here you can see these are the capitate antenna okay capitate clubbed with a knob you see clubbed with a knob a knob will be there what is happening you see segments are gradually increasing their size from the base to apex and the terminal 3 to 5 segment huh? this terminal 3 to 5 segment okay they are suddenly enlarged to form a knob like structure they are making a knob like structure and commonly called as your head like structure okay tribulium and other beetles what will happen capitate type of antenna will be there next one is your what clavet here you can see this is the clavet okay this is the clavet segments gradually increase here also segments are gradually increasing in diameter from base to tip ending in a club like structure you see club like structure will be there last few segments are round cone like yes on this is you see cone like okay present in case of butterflies 
Next one is your lamellate that is your plate like here you can see huh? that is a plate like okay that is a plate like okay uh, the terminal segments expand to one side and form a broad plate like structure and appear leaf like structure also okay present in case of your dong beetle now you see the zoom version okay this is the zoom version you can see okay this is your capitate and then this is your uh, clavate yes or no and this is your lamellate okay one more category is there which is not generally studied everywhere clavate with a hook this is clavate this is clavate with a hook here you can see clavate with a hook okay present example is your skipper butterflies okay they have the clavate with a hook clavate with a hook okay clavate with a hook understood next one is your geniculate elbow type elbow they are making a elbow here any joint they are making yes or no huh? geniculate or elbow type the body of the antenna makes a sharp curve you see they are making a sharp curve that means scape is there pedicel is there flagellum is there okay on this pedicel in between scape and flagellum they are making a sharp somewhat like right angle yes or no huh? angle with this scape it appears elbow shape yes or no just like any joint first segment scape is long and second segment pedicel is very short okay and the flagellum made of a small segment which are bent on this scape just like a bent knee yes or no just like a bent knee just like a bent knee yes or no huh? this is what your geniculate which is present in case of ants honeybees okay geniculate or elbow antenna are present next one is what your plumose and pilose you already have discussed plumose means present in case of male mosquito Pylos means present in case of female mosquito. This one helps in sexual dimorphism. What is the difference? You see this is the male, this is the female. What is the difference? In case of male you see this is, this is like bushy type. Yes or no? Like very dense hair will be there. But in case of female you see that is having sparse hair. Yes or no? Huh? Sparse hair. That is your female mosquito pylos antenna. You see huh? elbow type of antenna. This is your plumos, you see. This is your plumos, and this is your pylos. Next one is your aristate. Here, arista will be there. Okay, present in case of your housefly. Here, what is happening? You see, antenna are small. You see, very small antenna. Yes or no? Huh? Microscopic, three segmented. This is also three segmented. Scape, pedicel, and your uh, this uh, flagellum will be there. On this flagellum, what is happening? You see, a lateral outgrowth is there. Enlarged in place of bristle called as what your arista that's why it is known as arista type of antenna on its dorsal side okay on its dorsal side here you can see now you see okay this is the scape pedicel and all and the flagellum you see it on the dorsal side this is coming out on this dorsal side this is coming out okay next one is your heart flavellate that is your feather like here you can see that is your feather like okay this is the flavellate feather like in the flagellum this uh, modification will be there projection of some upper segment become long and form a feather poro huh? feather like structure called as flavella okay in case of kinder beetle and all your flavellate antenna will be there next one is what your stylata that means they have the style this is like style will be there you see antenna is small three to four segmented terminal segment elongated into a bristle like structure bristle like structure bristle like structure yes or no huh? that is known as what your style that's why it is known as stylata it appears needle like you see needle like yes or no huh? in case of horsefly and overfly adult we can see this stylata type of antenna and the last one but not the least you see hold it is somewhat a mixture of things these are cetaceous filiform or moniform also antenna in which there is a hole of bristles at every joint you see huh? hole of bristles at every joint okay it is present in case of male mango millibog which one male mango millibog these are present in case of female mango millibog what happens their antenna is more or less reduced but in case of male mango millibog that is developed and that is your hold antenna which one that is your hold antenna this one okay hold antenna okay here you can see this is your uh, arista this is your stylata and this is your flavellate yes or no hmm? flavellate type of antenna okay so thank you all 
i hope you understood the video and if any kind of doubt is there at any point or you can give any suggestion uh, in which field i can uh, make some more videos you can suggest in the comment box thank you have a nice day